What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time you're seeing my face, Amada, I love to do videos on sewing tutorials, sewing tips and fashion business tips. Today's tutorial is going to be on how to cut a skirt with pockets. How to sew a basic skirt with very wonderful, beautiful and you know, I don't know what to call it, pretty pocket. So this tutorial is going to be a very fast and easy one. If you want to find out how to sew a skirt with pockets, definitely keep watching and if you've not joined the family please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you'll be the very 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 first person beside the person beside you <laughs> you'll be the first person to get notified so let's just go into the video okay let's go let's go here are things i'm starting with i'm starting with a pattern fabric and a plain fabric you can use whatever combination you want to use so to start cutting the skirt what I did here was I folded the fabric into two after spreading it out. Then I marked 1.5 inch for my zip allowance. After marking out 1.5 inch for my zip allowance, I went ahead to fold the zip allowance and secure them with some pins. Then I folded it again into two, making it a fold of four. So to start cutting the skirt, that's the zip allowance. I wanted to show you that, so you'd know where the folding, where it is under the folding. So with my tape, I marked out my waist plus two inch, plus um, two inches seam allowance. Because I'm still going to sew my pockets and I'm still going to sew the side seams. So my waist is 7, I marked 9. Then from the top, I extended my tape downwards and I marked 8 inches from my hip point. And from the center, I marked 11 inches. My hips is actually 10 inches, but plus sewing allowance. I marked um, 11 inches then I went to the hem and marked 11 inches as well so when I was done marking out my measurement I just used my ruler and connected them together you guys just forget that broken ruler there <laughs> I don't know I'm always forgetting to buy a new one so just ignore do as if you did not see it so after joining my measurements together the next thing i did was i cut out the skirt so this is just the easiest way to cut a skirt after cutting i notched the center and i also notched the point where the seam allowance stopped then this is the back part so here i'm marking out my dart point and i marked four inches then i notched it so i'm done with the back i like to do that kind of notching for my dart so that when i go to my sewing machine i don't have to start figuring out where four is or start measuring again so this is the front piece i want to mark where my pocket will start so i marked five inches some people mark at their that point but i don't like it like in front like that so i marked five inches extending my tape downwards you don't want to mark it to get into your hips point so i'm going to mark about five inches again which is three inches away from my hips point understood then i used my ruler and connected my markings together then i drew it like so sort of like when you're drawing a crouch i just connected the square and i drew a curvy line to curve them in except you want to do a very <laughs> vintage kind of pocket maybe you leave it like square but this is like the normal curve and pattern a pocket takes so after drawing out my pocket dimension i just used my scissors and i cut it out you can see the difference where like the hip point started and where the pocket point stopped so 
to um, cut the facing for the pocket i folded another black fabric like so i folded a black fabric like so placed it under the pocket we want to trace out the outline of the pocket secured with some pins then i'm just going to cut through now you want to make sure whatever fabric you're using to for the facing of the pocket it has to be about three inches downwards it has to get like around the hip side because you don't want your pocket hanging if it's just like one inch in in length is your pocket is going to hang and it's going to puff out you understand yeah so after cutting the outline for the pocket you also need um I don't know if to call it a facing here i'm just trying to shape out the pocket it's not a facing but it's the fabric that will still cover up the rest of the waistline which is more like the standing part of the pocket the pocket overview i like to call it pocket overview so this is it's just a straight fabric and you see how i'm going to attach this thing to the skirt so you want to pin these two together so you don't lose track of any of the pieces then you are going to roll it up together with the front piece and voila we are done cutting the skirt so now we are going to go over to joining the skirt and the pocket now this is the band this is just two inches band so to start sewing the pocket um i'm going to unpin the zip allowance and i'm going to join the zip allowance around that point so i took it out to my sewing machine and i joined it and this is what i have here so after joining it i gave it a really good press to open up the zip allowance although i didn't capture it then from that point where i marked my where i notched my that point i went ahead to mark out my that the length and the width of the dart so the width the length of the dart is four inches which is like standard then the width is one inch so that's what i'm drawing here so i did this for both sides of the skirt So after marking out where my dart is going to be, I took it out to my sewing machine and picked it for both sides of the skirt. So this is what it looks like. You can see how crisp and tiny it is. I like my darts like this. So after sewing the dart, I'm going to go ahead to attach my band to the skirt. So you're going to open up the zip allowance a bit. So I'm going to attach it from that point to that point. And the second one as well from that point to that point so so after attaching the the band this is what it looks like you can see how very simple and easy it is to sew this skirt just flow with me then next thing i'm going to do is i want to attach my zip to the skirt just this is how it looks like i want to attach my zip to the skirt and i'm going to mark the length of my zip that's about seven and a half and to mark out where it's going to be on my skirt from the top i'm going to mark half of half of an inch because that is the length we need to attach the facing of the band then from there i'm going to attach i'm going to mark seven and a half inches for the zip okay now i'm from i'm going to reinforce my stitches from that point downwards and I'm going to attach my zip to both sides of the skirt. So I've attached my zips, my zip to both sides of the skirt. This is what it looks like. Now I'm going to go over to the front part of the skirt, which is the which is the guest of the day. <laughs> so I'm just going to lay the facing on the skirt like so and i'm going to sew i have to show you i reinforced the facing i didn't show you i put some gum stay on it you must like you must put gum stay when you want to turn over a skirt so 
I'm going to sew from that point downwards and from that point downwards like I said you must always enforce your skirts so after sewing and top stitching I turned it over and gave it a good press this is what it looks like this is what it looks like the next thing I'm going to go over to do remember that fabric overlay that I said we need for the front part of the skirt I'm just going to this is the front part you want to take note of the front and the back part this is the front part which is a shiny part and this is the back part which is dull so you want to make sure the front part is facing the front part of the skirt so I'm just going to secure that with pin and I'm going to join the pocket that OM facing of the pocket I'm going to join it to the fabric so this is what it looks like after joining the facing of the pocket to the fabric the facing of the pocket to the fabric will not be facing of the pocket to the skirt understood yeah so this is what it looks like next thing i'm going to go over to do is to attach my band and i already know like the same because of the fabric overlay we have like an excess on the waist but that's going to be taken care of so i just um attached it from the center of the fabric and i'm going to join it like so i know it's looking like the band in our reach but trust me we're on track so after joining the band to the skirt i brought it back to my ironing table and gave it a good press now i always emphasize the importance of ironing and you have to sew and iron as you go to make this band look well relaxed and creeps and smooth you have to give it a good press so that is why i'm ironing and you also want to iron the rest part of the skirt so that everything will be in place so to join this skirt i'm going to lay the back like so and lay the front on the back i'm going to make sure the center part they are well aligned and i'm going to secure them with a pin with pins then from the center i'm going to mark my waist which is seven inches my waist is 28 divided by four seven inches then from that point i'm going to mark i'm not going to mark eight because this is a high waist skirt and i've attached my band and my waist has jumped my hips have jumped so i'm marking 10 for my hips point then from that point i also marked 10 which is like the normal width of my hips then i went to the bottom and marked 9.5 inches i'm going to take out half an inch from the normal measurement of my hips because i wanted to have this sort of um, pencil shape not so much but a little i was trying to explain something to you my normal um, hips point is eight inches but because this has jumped and because there's a pocket there is a it's more like a high waist skirt so you can still use that eight inches point so that's why i brought it down to 10 inch because by the time i take it up to the high waist point which is around my navel when i wear the skirt I'm going to have like a two inch jump do you understand so after marking out my measurement i joined them with with some lines and i'm just going to join the skirt on both sides like so so i've joined the skirt and this is what it looks like you can see the excess i told you there was going to be excess because this is a pocket skirt you don't want to really gamble with your measurement and find out that you think the knowledge mm -hmm. so after that i'm just going to cut out the excess now before you cut out the excess you have to verify your measurement again you understand i like to do this because i don't want to after cutting out the excess i begin to cry because it is not my measurement so make sure before you cut out the excess fabric make sure you verify your measurement again so i did this for both sides So after cutting out my measurement i gave it a good press although off camera and here i'm going i'm marking out the facing for the band because we we have to turn over the the raw edge of the band so i just marked seven inches which is like my normal waist dimension uh, for both sides i'm going to join it to my sewing machine so here i finished joining the bands together it's open on one end and I'm just going to secure it with pins I'm going to attach it to the main band this is more like a facing you use it to turn over the band of the skirt you don't want to leave your band raw like that and apart from it being a facing and it turning over 
the main band of the skirt it also acts like an enforcing agent that makes the band come out strong and stiff and beautiful and smooth as well so i took my time i s used the, my office pin and i secured the facing to the main piece to the main band piece when i was done i'm going to join along that axis okay so i'm done joining it this is what it looks like now this is where our ironing comes in i'm going to join and top stitch you're not just joining you're joining and top stitching so you're going to take it step by step make it relax give it a really really good press which was what i did here so this is why the importance of iron this is one of the importance of ironing you need it for your dresses to come out perfect for your skirt for your outfits to come out perfect and nice okay so i gave it a good press to make it relax because we don't want it puffing out of the main band piece So you are going to turn the band to the front side and you are going to also give it a good press. You guys see how I'm doing this thing for you. You need to do it like that. So from the down part, I'm going to mark where my slit is going to be. That's my skirt opening and I marked that at 7 inches. So after marking that, I went over to my table. That is the marked point. I want you to take note of that. I've already pinned my lining to the to the band of the skirt to the down part of the facing of the band. I've already pinned my lining to the facing of the band. So I'm going to go over to my sewing machine and I'm going to join the facing the the lining to the facing of the band that's to the down part of the facing of the band which is like the under other end of the band facing and when i'm done with that i'm going to use the other side that is the down part like more like the allowance of the facing i'm going to use it to turn over the allowance like so for the band it's just going to be a flip a flip kind of journey just you guys you know how the way you see this sketch you know what i did so i just used the facing joined the allowance of the main skirt i joined it to the allowance of the lining i did this for both sides of the lining zip allowance when i'm talking of the allowance i mean the allowance the zip allowance of the lining so i joined them together i did this for both sides of the allowance so this is what we have here this is what it looks like you can see where i joined the line into you can see the turnover i was talking about allowance to allowance and that's the slit over there so i'm not doing a kind of lap slit here i'm doing a an open slit and i'm going to do that with the help of this sila gum so with the help of the sila gum i'm just going to put the gum on the opening like so because i want it to be well relaxed and i'm going to use my steam iron and give it a good press and hold it in place you guys know that steam the steam in the iron is what triggers the gum to get into action so i'm going to press it like so and for the hem i'm not going to sew over this pattern skirt because you're going just going to ruin the design so i'm going to use the sealer gum to seal it in place as well you see the raw end of that lining i'm not going to leave it like that i'm going to take it over to the weaving house and weave it you guys know i do like overlock but this is lining and doing an overlock with zigzag stitches will not work so i just kept doing that i got to the end of the skirt and i gave it a good press then you want to turn the skirt over again as well and give it a good press also because you want to make sure everything is smooth and there's no like squeeze anywhere you understand so i gave it a good press around the hem 
turn the skirt to the front part you want to do the overall ironing now so this is what it looks like ladies and gentlemen this is how to sew a skirt with band and pocket like if you watched up to this point and you enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up okay try it out let me know how it went make sure you subscribe to this channel it means a lot to me i want to hit 50k by the end of this year so help me get to my dream thanks for watching to come back for more